Hello and welcome to Easy My Channel. Um, this week we will learn how to solve an equation and within solving an equation we'll go over two different types so where an equation requires addition and subtraction and also trying to solve equation where it requires multiplication and division. Now before we jump into uh, some examples I wanted to highlight when it comes to or when you see a problem with say solve an equation it usually involves finding the value of the unknown variable so it could be either x y a b or any other variable given in the question so let's look at the first uh, type which is solving equation with addition and subtraction and let's go over a couple of examples so as you can see we have three examples let's start with the first one which is x plus 9 equals 17 now from the equality property you know that whenever we you know add or subtract a number on one side we also have to do the same operation on the other side as well to balance the equation kind of thing so we can see that here we have x plus 9 equals 17 so in order to solve for x we will subtract both the sides so left side and the right side by 9 so we'll get x plus 9 minus 9 equals 17 minus 9 and why did we do minus 9 because with x we have we have 9 as positive so to remove 9 from one side we will subtract 9 so we can remove 9 from from the left hand side so when we do that we get x plus 9 minus 9 is 0 and 17 minus 9 is 8 so we get x equals 8 now second is 17 minus f equals 14 now in this case we can see that with with f we have plus 17 so we'll subtract 17 on both the sides so which is 17 minus f minus 17 equals up oh, let me write it again I'm sorry so we have 17 minus f minus 17 equals 14 minus 17 and we can see that 17 minus 17 is 0 so we get minus f equals 14 minus 17 is minus 3 now we are looking for value of f and not negative f and since we have negative on both the sides we can just cancel the negative sign and we get f equals 3 cool let's look at the last example which is c minus 22 equals 22 now since we see the 22 it's negative so we will add 22 on both the sides so we get c minus 22 plus 22 equals 22 plus 22 so this 22 and this 22 gets cancelled so which is 0 so minus 22 plus 22 is 0 so we get c equals 22 plus 22 which is 44 so you can see that how easy it is to solve an equation when it requires uh, addition or subtraction so in this case it was subtraction in this case it was subtraction in this case it was addition um, let's look at the other type which involves multiplication and division it's kind of the concept is still the same um, so it's we are still trying to solve an equation but instead of addition and subtraction we'll use the different property or different operation which is multiplication and division so in this case we can see that it's 7n which is 7 times n equals 49 now since in this case 7 or n is multiplied by 7 uh, therefore we'll divide both the sides by 7 so we get 7 and divide by 7 equals 49 over 7 and we know that 7 over 7 is 1 so that is 7 divided by 7 is 1 so we get n equals 47 by or divide by 7 which is 7 since 49 can be written as 7 times 7 over 7 and 1 over and 7 divided by 7 is 1 and 1 times 7 is 7 so n is 7 um, in the second equation we have q divided by 5 equals 9 
now we can see that q is divided by 5 so in order to balance so when I say balance um, I'm trying to like add or subtract or multiply or divide one side with one number and the other side with that same exact number so that's what balancing the equation means so in this case since it's q divided by 5 we will multiply both the sides by 5 so we get q over 5 multiplied by 5 equals 9 divided by 5 sorry 9 multiplied by 5 and we can see that 5 divided by 5 is 1 so we get q multiplied by 1 is q and then 9 times 5 is 45 and that's how we get the value of q equals 45 now in the third question it's 42 over or 42 divided by b equals 14 now there are two ways of doing it uh, and we'll look at both the ways so first way i mean the answer will is still going to be the same and you can choose which method is more easier or more convenient for you to solve um, so in the first method we'll see that it's 42 divided by b equals 14 now in this case what we'll do is we will since it's it's or let's do this way we can also write this question as 1 and 1 over b times 42 equals 14 now since b is he in this case it's there is multiplica it's multiplied by 42 we will divide both the sides by 42 so whenever you see a multiplication in order to balance or trying or, or when you're trying to solve the equation you do the opposite so in this case since it's multiplied we divide by 42 so we'll divide both the equation or both the sides sorry by 42 so we get 14 over 42 so 42 times over 42 is 1 and we get 1 over b equals 14 divided by 42 now we are trying to solve for b and not 1 over b so in order to find b we'll just flip so when when i say flip it's b so 1 over b when i flip it becomes b and then 14 over 42 when i flip becomes 42 over 14 and therefore i get b equals 3 that's the value for b and let's look at the other method so the question is 42 divided by b equals 14 so in the first method we divided both the sides by 42 since b was multiplied by 42 now in this case we can see that b is in the denominator in order to simplify this we can we can try first multiplying since b is in division and remember I mentioned whenever you see division to when when you're trying to solve an equation you do the opposite so since here b is in division we do the opposite which is we multiply both the sides by b so we get 42 over b equals 14 times b so b over b is 1 so we get 42 over 14 b and this becomes similar to our first question which is 7n equals 49 in, in, and instead of that we get 14b equals 42 so 14b equals 42 and now since b is multiplied by 14 we will divide both the sides by 14 so 14b over 14 equals 42 over 14 so for 14 divided by 14 is 1 so we get b equals 42 over 14 which is 3 so I mean uh, um, either you follow this method or you follow this method the answer is going to be the same I just wanted to show you that you can start with dividing first method which is which involves dividing both the sides by 42 or you can start with the second method which involves multiplying both the sides by B first so these were some of the examples um, uh, to solve the equation using multiplication and division I hope this was helpful and I hope this was easy to understand. Um, if you like this video, please subscribe to my channel Easy Math and please leave your comments below and feel free to share this video with, with your friends. Uh, thank you and take care.